Hello, hello. We gotta find a different way to greet y'all. I always just say hello, hello. <sighs> Um, if you've been with me some time, you know that I'm trying to give people a few minutes. So, you know, if you're going to hang with me today, I'm probably really not going to start to like 8.05 just so I can give. I try to give people those first five minutes to kind of get on. So that is what I'm doing right now. Just giving everybody a chance to get on here. I'm playing with this seat. Hello, hello. So today we're going to be doing tumblers. Not the tumblers that I said we was going to be doing, but we're going to be doing tumblers. So um, I am just kind of still trying to get myself together to get this done. Um, so thank you for joining. Like I said, we're going to just give everybody a minute or two more. And then we're going to get started on, well, we're going to talk about one tumbler, the tumbler that I wanted to do. And then we're going to um, actually complete another tumbler. So, or we ain't going to complete no tumblers today because if you, if you do tumblers, you know, it takes more than, you know, the hour or less maybe that I'll be on here today. So we're going to start some tumblers and then maybe I can come back and show you guys how they ended up. So, um, but like I said, that's trying to wait to 805. Who's with me? Who's with me? Hello. Hello. Say hello in the chat. Speak to me. Speak to me. I want to know who's here. So, I don't know what kind of week y'all are having, but I hope it's been a good week and this is a nice little midweek break. Um, um, it's been an okay week for me. A little busy, a little busy, but it's been okay. Um, my son went back to school, so... It's been, it's been okay. <laughs> what did I do? Mirror off. <laughs> I'm looking at this and this is so wrong. The mirror isn't on. But it looks like it printed backwards. It printed backwards. Or cut backwards. That doesn't make any sense to me. It says mirror off. But the words are backwards. Hmm. I also like to start on time. So I'm going to go ahead and start because I said 8.05 and it is 8.05 according to my watch right now. Um, and as you can see, I'm already losing myself. I'm, I can't find the tools that's right in front of me. So I'm going to put this down a little bit so you guys can see. Um, I am really baffled by <laughs> how my machine just cut this. Wait, oh no, I guess that's right. I don't know what I'm thinking. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this today. Oh, Lord, I can't even think straight. So there are two things that I'm doing today. Um, the first, like I want it and on my calendar, on my events calendar on procrastcreation.com, I believe I have a storyboard tumbler. Um, list it on for today. Um, but if you saw me Sunday, um, I, on that live, I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to get to the storyboard tumbler today just because of the prep that's involved in it. And 
I wasn't sure I would be able to get that prep done between um, Monday and yesterday because yesterday, Tuesdays is always like my late night at work. So, um, you know, um, so I wasn't here to do any prep yesterday because um, when I come home, I'm tired and I didn't do that. So today uh, I started to prep these cups. We'll say on my lunch break, <laughs> I started to prep these cups. So we're, like I said, we're going to do, we're going to start, or I'm going to show you the beginning of a storyboard. You know what? I should probably share this, shouldn't I? Share y'all. Share, like, follow, all that stuff, whatever options you have. Um, and I think I'm going to try to share this too. And then I'll show you guys what I'm doing. So watch my little my little fingers are probably coming at you. They ain't little fingers either, but um, let's see. I need to, oh, there it is. So I'm gonna share, share, share. Maybe if it lets me, um, yikes, look at my big old face. Uh, don't leave me, y'all. Be patient. Be patient. These lives take time. Mm. So, if you didn't know, I have two Facebook groups. One is a Black Girls Decorating and Design Ideas, and the other is Procrast Creation DIY. Yes, I have a lot going on. <laughs> So I have just shared it with those two groups um, and um, that's all I'm going to share it with right now. So y'all don't have to see my fingers because I don't know what y'all are seeing. When y'all see this, let me see if anybody has spoken in the chat because I don't get to see that. Oh, there's Stacy. Hey, Stacy girl. So, um, so today, because I keep, I keep saying what we're going to do, but then I'll show you. So we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to talk about the steps to the storyboard tumbler because I have just started it and the storyboard tumbler is not, um, um, is not something that you can do <laughs> in one sitting. So you're not going to be able to see that whole process, but we're definitely going to give it a shot as far as, well, not give it a shot. We're going to talk about, um, what's going to be next in what I have done, which is not a whole lot. So I get my, um, tum my, I get my tumblers from a variety of places, but one of the places I get my tumblers is from hog is stainless steel depot. Um, and they have a 30 ounce storyboard tumbler. And I want to say, I'm looking over where my tumblers are. I want to say they have a 20 ounce as well. So, um, and a storyboard tumbler, if you don't know what that is, is um, the tumblers that look like snow globes. So here is a storyboard tumbler. So when it comes out of the box, it's in that little plastic in there. And, you know, of course you have your lid which I normally put back in the box because you don't need the lid until your stuff is done. Um, and then you have, so it's four pieces. You have your lid, you have the um, stainless steel portion. Um, for some reason, they always put like a sheet or a couple of sheets. This one actually had three sheets in it. Um, so, and then you have your um, outer layer and then you have your bottom. So, um, this is what I was hoping we was going to do today, but like I said, I'm not ready. Um, so, but this is how it connects. So you have your tumbler. This would be, um, sealed once we're ready for that, you would seal it. And then you have your bottom where after you, so you're going to put your glue and your glitter in here. Kind of like what we did with the acrylic tumblers, except you don't have to drill a hole or melt a hole it's it's already there for you to kind of do and all of your glitter or whatever you're going to put in would go down the sides of this um and then you would seal that off and then you would you know put seal off 
seal off your top, your bottom. So today, like I said, we're only kind of talking about this today because I'm not ready. <laughs> How many times can I say that? Hello, hello, everybody that's here. So drop me a hello in the chat just so I can see who's here. You know, I want to say where you're coming from. So, okay. So with this, I'm going to, oh, did I scratch it? Um, so this tumbler, I'm already thinking about um, birthday. That would be perfect for my husband's friend's wedding, right? See, so like I said, stainless steel, I don't know if you use them, but stainless steel depot or um, they're called fog. Um, but stainless steel depot is, I think is how you find them. And I think you got to send them an email unless she's changed it. Like you have to like join kind of thing, but you're not really like joining for a price. That makes sense. Um, so, um, so what I'm doing is I want it. I'm thinking already like of like you like you said the wedding. I use them, love their stuff. Yes. Um so I'm thinking like I want a birthday party cup. My birthday not till April, y'all. Yes, I know. I got to get ready early. I got to get my brain right so I can get everybody else's brain right. So, we can all celebrate together. So, um I'm thinking, but like, if you did one of these kind of cups, you can do this and just have it say celebrate and it could be celebrating anything. So, um, what I have started, which this isn't weeding as quickly as I would like, cause I wanted to just show you. So I'm going to put the word celebrate down the side and then like have some balloons. So I'm making it, I'm also making it a peekaboo cup. So a peekaboo is basically, you have a, a bottom layer for those who don't know this. And if you know it, just bear with it. We got people at all different stages. I'm at, you know, some people may be ahead of us and I'm gonna say us and someone, some people may be um, behind us, but we're gonna, we're gonna try to learn some of this together. And honestly, this is going to be my first stainless steel um, cup. So I will be <laughs> learning this project as we go. Um, so, but what I'm doing and ignore the color because the color of this isn't going to matter when I show it to you once I get this weeded. Um, if I don't mess it up in the process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm down, Felicia. Take your time. <laughs> Gotta talk to yourself sometimes, right? So, um, like I said, I am going to put the word celebrate down the side of this. So I'm gonna have celebrate and then on this sheet of vinyl that I'm still weeding, it's gonna have like balloons. I got some confetti that I'm gonna put around it. And so I'm just going to put all of these, we'll just call them stickers, labels, whatever you want to call them, vinyl. I'm going to put the vinyl around the cup and then I'm going to take it outside and spray paint it um, so that I can get that peekaboo effect. And then, you know, once the spray paint, spray, spray paint dries, then um, I'm going to take all of the... Um, labels or stickers, whatever that's on it off. And then, so the top will be white, but you'll see all of the letters and balloons and everything in blue. And then I plan on like using this and I use this on the acrylic tumbler. So this has like, like a whole bunch of different stars and stuff in it. It kind of reminds me of a party. So this is Recollections, and Recollections always use that clear label, so I have a hard time seeing what in the world the name is supposed to be. Ooh, I can't see it. Um, glitter polyester, what does it say? I don't even know what it says. Mm. It's multi-color multi stars. <laughs> We're going to go with that. So, well, the back says multi-color, multi -color, but there's normally a name on the front label, but I can't 
see it. It says recollection, specialty, glitter. Mm. I don't know what that say. <laughs> so, but, so like, so on the actual tumbler, so you'll have the white and then showing through will be the celebrate with the balloons and the confetti all showing in blue, which I wish I would have did this like a multicolored cup, but it is what it is now. And so, like I said, I'm gonna spray paint it white. Then those words and letters will be showing in blue. And then um, just like with the acrylic, you can use glycerin or the glue. So we'll put this on, like I said, we'll put this on, we'll seal it with, um, there's a Gorilla sealant and not a glue. So we're gonna seal the bottom, we'll put that on. I think it says it takes like 30 minutes um, for it to seal. And then once that does that, we'll put a little bit of, um, of the glycerin and water mixture like we did with the acrylic. So we'll put a little bit of the glycerin water mixture in and then we'll start sprinkling these in. So that's gonna be really pretty. And if you haven't, and then I mixed it just so I could get the colors to pop a little more. I mixed it with like, a red and a yellow. So I think it's going to be super cute when we're done. When we are done. Gosh, got to use my my words today. So, um, and if you don't remember, um, well, these have been sitting here. Not... And I was going to say I'm being lazy, but I ain't lazy. I just got so many other things to do. So these have been sitting here and I haven't touched them since we did them. Oh, like, and I really want to take this one to work. Um, and now this thing has been sitting here so long. And here I go with the banging again. Y'all know me. I'm sorry. I don't like banging, but sometimes we got to do it for our projects. <laughs> And that is where we are right now with this one. So I'm going to let this settle some so you can see what this is going to look like in the inside stuff. It's going to have blue in the background and it's going to be super cute. So um, like I said, we're going to start that today once I get everything weeded. Um, and then just because I'm not ready, I was thinking that I can either um, paint a... Uh, tumbler with alcohol inks if y'all want to see that um paint it with the wood grain or um i can do another alcohol ink we can try again with um a white tumbler instead of a black one and do this so i was hoping there'd be a few of y'all on here y'all can give me your vote on whether you want me to paint wood grain which let me let me pull a wood grain for you so you guys can see what the wood grains look like. So I paint these by hand. Um, so there's a red one and there's a brown one. So I paint these by hand. So I either can do this for you and I'll be honest, like on YouTube, my most popular video and I said I was going to look it up one day. My most popular video is the videos where I paint the wood grain. So I always want to come back to that every once in a while so that um, those that have liked that video or want to see me do it in person have the opportunity to um, see that. So like I said, I can either do that or... Um, we can try another alcohol ink where the background isn't black, but the background is white this time. So, um, I'm gonna let y'all think about that and then y'all can let me know which ones you want me to do. And I'm, I'm over here looking on YouTube to try to find, um, that video so that just so I can kind of tell you like, my wood grain videos are crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, 
So, and then I'll just tell you a comparison. Like I have an alcohol inks where I did the black. So, um, just really a big difference in the feedback that I've gotten from the two. So like my wood grain video right now is at 139,037. So alcohol inks would be good. I've always had trouble with them. So Stacy, now I guess I guess I need to be more clear. Hey Leticia, I guess I need to be more clear. When I paint these, I'm painting them with alcohol inks. So I guess I need to know whether you guys want wood grain or just whether you, I guess maybe you answered, whether you want wood grains or whether you want the alcohol inks, just period. So would love to see the wood grain. Okay, so there's one wood grain vote and I think there's one alcohol vote. Who gonna break the tie? Who gonna break the tie? Oh, and look, now that it's coming down. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think I have this on Instagram. But this is basically what we're going to do. I am doing well. I am doing so much better this week. Um, I've been sleeping crazy. So I like got to get my sleeping back together. So I'm glad I'm with y'all tonight. Because last night I think I went to bed at 9 o'clock. And I was up at 2 o'clock this morning. So of course at 7 o'clock tonight I was ready to go to bed and say, Oh, maybe I won't see him tonight. So this is helping me get, hopefully get back on track how are you doing right it's beautiful i love this cup I, but i gotta seal the bottom so that i can actually drink out of it so um but yeah so like i said imagine this in the snow globe and having the celebrate and in the white so it's going to be on a white but it's going to have all the words in there i think it's going to be beautiful so um but i so i prepped this one and then i also prepped another one so again like stainless steel depot they don't pay me to say their names all those times and i'm not an affiliate of them i am an affiliate of some of the products that you'll see on my videos but this isn't one of them so this is just a free advertisement maybe somebody will do that for me one day right um so, I'm going to do with that box. Like I said, I like to keep my tops with my boxes. I found if I put them other places, I don't know where the tops are. <laughs> so, I try to keep my tops with my boxes. Oh, and obviously, I can't see today. I might need to get my glasses redone. So, what are we doing? Are we doing the wood grain? Are we doing just the alcohol design? So I've got, I think I got one of each. So I need to know which one I'm doing and just know like I have been making, doing these lives. So I, I'm putting a basket together. Somebody's going to get all this stuff that I keep making, except for this. I'm keeping that, <laughs> but somebody's going to get a basket um, full of stuff because I can't keep all of this stuff. I am fine and happy, excited news. I am going Oh, I missed that. I gotta go back. Look, y'all get to see all my faces too. <laughs> Why does it do that? I want to see. Wood grain is fine. Okay. I am happy and excited. I am going to become a mom daughter. Oh, yay. Congratulations. Congratulations, girl. I am happy for you. I am so happy for you. I hope all works out well. So um, we're going to go ahead. It looks like uh, if I don't mess something up, we're going to go ahead and do the wood grain. So um, like I said, with this, I do use um, alcohol inks. Um, and I don't know if I was quite ready for y'all as, as usual. Y'all y'all keep praying for me now because... Uh, one day I'm going to have my life together. But until then, we're going we gonna to keep moving forward together. <laughs> so I am going to grab my 
um, butcher paper just because I don't want to get alcohol ink on my mat. So it's right on the other side of this table. And I'm going to grab my alcohol inks and then we're going to get started. So does anybody have like a color choice? You see it in red. I have two reds already, so I don't really necessarily want to do another red. Um, I have a pretty, you know, everything I do, y'all, has got some kind of turquoise bluish color at work. But then I also just, we can also just do a brown. Anybody got a color choice while I'm grabbing all of this stuff? And making a mess as usual. Anybody got a color choice? out here all that bumping and moving around let me see did anybody respond to that why does it always do that i'm trying navy um navy navy okay let's see what we got in the blue family here see if we can give it some definition here so i said butcher paper freezer paper butcher paper they're all the same to me i don't know about y'all um if somebody knows what the difference is you can let me know <laughs> so i'm gonna put this down a little bit i got stuff everywhere so um we are going to do a 20 ounce skinny tumbler. Um, and I'm going to find some of my blues here so that we'll have some blue inks. Yikes. I really didn't think this through because I also need my brushes. So as you can see, I got a whole bucket full of alcohol inks we have a denim purple. maybe we'll do a dark with a light so we have a denim and maybe i'll just throw a little bit of like a um sailboat blue is what that one is a baja blue I even got some blues that I made myself. Mm. All right. We'll just play with a few of these and see what they turn out like. So in this case today, I am using the Ranger alcohol inks. But I also like the pinata. Like if we were doing um, just the alcohol ink spread, I like the pinata white. It's It's got some substance to it. So I really like that one. Um, and I am trying to figure out, you know, when you clean up and then you don't know where anything is. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I think that's where I am right now. Where are my brushes? So I have, there's a make a makeup um, brush kit that um, is on Amazon. I thought you was over there. That is on Amazon that um, I just bought the whole kit. I think it's like, I don't even know how many pieces in there, several. <laughs> and those, and I use a couple of brushes of that so I'm gonna grab that y'all and then we're gonna get started so there they are all right and I think I got alcohol right there so the things that you'll need when you're doing the wood grain um, is you'll need um, your alcohol inks You'll need, of course, your tumbler that's that's prepped with white spray paint. You'll need brushes. Like I said, this is the brush set that I got. 
so it's called solve you know i'm not this right here is the most makeup most people ever see me with some lip gloss and <laughs> a little bit of um, liner so um I just get my brushes really to do my crafting. So you're gonna need some alcohol. Um, before the pandemic, we would say like the 90% alcohol, but the other, this like this is a 70% here, which I don't necessarily wanna use cause it's a spray bottle and I wanna keep that spray bottle. So actually it's 91%. So I have some 91% alcohol here, so we're gonna use that. So 91% alcohol, brushes, paper towels. <laughs> um, and then your tumbler. So, and then you want a couple of different brush sizes. It doesn't have to be like anything elaborate. It's just when you're trying to do knots, you want a smaller brush. And when you're trying to do, um, I hate y'all saying half my head. When you're trying to use, um, when you're making just the strokes, a nice big brush is fine. So what I'm going to do is just take a little cup. And we're going to pour a little bit of alcohol in it. See the brushes that I like to use because those are the ones that got color all on them. So mm, that's crunchy. Why is that crunchy? I must not have washed that good. All right, y'all. So we're gonna use this size brush. Let me see. What can I give you to kind of get a idea maybe the medicine cup so that's the medicine cup that would be in a typical thing so that size brush and then i also i grab a medium kind of size brush but I, sometimes i use it sometimes i don't and then i just want a small one so um that is the brush situation so from there like I'm scared this brush isn't. That's what happens. <laughs> My brush isn't super clean, right? Because whatever, I must have painted a brown thing last and get, didn't get all the paint out. So, because I don't want that mixed into my blue. You know what? For this, I'm not even going to mess with that. I'm going to get a different brush. I'm going to get this one. All right, y'all. I'm going to get my life together. I told y'all I am. One day, y'all going to be like, dang, she did everything. Everything was where it's supposed to be. What is going on? But that ain't today. <laughs> today, we're going to get through it. All right. I just got rid of that brown um, alcohol. And so now, because we wanted mostly navy, what I'm going to do is um wet your brush you don't want your brush to be this oh you can't see what i just did you don't want your brush to be like super wet because soaking wet is not gonna it's not gonna lay good on your um on your tumbler so you want it damp let's just go with that you want it damp um, and then what I like to do, and I'm going to tell you why here in a second, I like to put my ink on my brush and sometimes I'll even mix my inks on my brush because, um, if you put it on a cup, sometimes it leaves like a stain, like a circle stain. And then it's hard to like brush that thing out. So I like to put it directly on my cup. If you are... Um, concerned about being being dirty, <laughs> then you are not gonna want to do this with your hands. You're gonna want to put like gloves on. I, 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 
I don't care about that. <laughs> so, as you can see, I am just wiping this on. And this is honestly a little too wet for me, but we're going to go with it because that's what we're going to do. So, and what, if you didn't see me, I put a little bit of denim. I put a whole lot of denim and then a little bit of a uh, pool mixed in. So, and the one thing about alcohol ink um, that you need to, like, if you make a mistake with alcohol ink, it you can fix it. Like, don't get all, like, in your feelings and like, oh, no, because... Alcohol ink, you can move around and you can fix whatever you do. So, um, and as you can see, that easy, that quickly, I was able to cover this whole tumbler, including the bottom. So you want to make sure that you get the bottom of your tumbler. So from there, like I said, I like for my tumbler to um, have knots and to have some character and detail to it. So um, I'll start moving the ink around. So my brush is, like I said, still pretty wet, almost too wet for me. I almost don't wanna take some of this off. And then if y'all have any questions as we're going, you know, sometimes I'm looking down and I can't see you, but um, can I get your email? Yes, ma'am. Um, well, my email, just say my email is um, my pretty much my name of this uh, channel. <laughs> Use your words, Felicia. Use your words. So my name of my channel. So just if you can just do it to info at procrastcreation.com then that can get you my email. So info at procrastcreation.com um, you know, forwards it to my email. So anyway, so with this, like you're just going to push that ink around to get what you want. So like now I want a knot that is going to go from the bottom of my cup all the way underneath my cup. So as you can see, I'm making a nice little ridge defining my, um, defining my knot. So, and I'm going to take that ridge where it goes all the way underneath. And this, y'all, is hard to do, trying to show y'all and watch, watch what I'm doing. So, um, sometimes if I don't show you, I'll show you when I'm done. <laughs> so, like, I made, see how I made that go underneath and then on top. So, then all you're doing, once you have, like, that's what I want. And, like, right here. Look how like it's like looks like it's run. So like I said, no mistake in alcohol ink is bad. So you just move that ink so that it's not all pulled right there. And if you didn't like that, you could add more blue and then it'll be fine. Okay. So but back to my knot. So um, now I want a second layer. So. What I'm going to do, and like I said, my brush is still wet enough that I can do this. Sometimes you got to go back and wet your brush or add more ink. But right now, I'm good. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, I'm making a second one. And like I said, you can do this with any color. So, and I really, I'm, I'm really liking, I'm glad somebody chose the blue because this is cute. This is cute. So there is my second ring. So like I said, I'm gonna just keep doing this. So now I'm gonna pull, and as you can see, because of how much I put on here, I didn't necessarily need any more right now, but you can also see that it's getting lighter and lighter in the middle. So if you didn't want that lightness in the middle, then you would go ahead and add yourself some more blue. And as you get to the middle, you'll find that's when you want to use your different brushes. So like I said, I don't want to use a brush that has ink on it from something else. So I'm going to put this down a second and then I'm going to put some alcohol on my brush. Get Knock most of that alcohol off. Because again, I just want a damp brush. I don't want something that's soaking wet 
And then what I'm gonna do is just add, like especially for the smaller, I'm just gonna add a couple of drops, trying to get it as consistent as the other one as I can. Um, but I won't know until I put it on there, so we'll we'll see what happens. Um, so then I'm getting alcohol ink all over my Cricut. So like again, that's too wet. I can't do it. So now I'm gonna just move that around and finish my other layers. So again, it's just a matter of, like I said, you're just pushing that alcohol ink around until you get the desired look that you want. So, and I'm gonna show you here in a second. Like if you decide that, and well, let me finish this. So now I have, what is that? One, two, three, four rings. And then in the middle, I just like to go back and forth. So I'll go up this way and then I'll go down this way and then I'll go up this way again. And then I'll go down this way again. And then I kind of just leave something in the middle. And then that knot is finished to me and I love it. Like to me, that is crazy cute. So, but like if you, again, with your um, alcohol inks, if you decide, oh my God, like this is right here. Oh, I hate that. So you can just put either more alcohol ink on, decide to give yourself another knot. Um, like you can change this alcohol ink up. It's not like it dries on you and then you can't move it anymore. Like you can move this as long as you haven't put your, um, as long as you haven't put your epoxy on it. So again, I'm just going and making layers for what I want. So, and again, it, it, it is, I think people make, think it's harder than what it is. You're really just pushing that ink around until, again, you get that desired effect. And sometimes what I'll do is with my smallest brush, I'll just come in too sometimes and just make a circle and give it just a different look in the middle. So I'll keep playing with it until it's something that I like. So, and that's that. So, um, and that's pretty much, oh, the last thing that I do with these, I'm gonna back up some now, y'all. So the last thing that I do with these is I take and I've been putting way too much alcohol, so I'm gonna try not to put too much. I just dip my brush in my alcohol. Again, I'm knocking off as much as possible. What I found is if you go over your um, tumbler, like the whole thing, just making little lines, it makes the wood grain look even more um, realistic. And what I mean by that is I just literally go straight down my tumbler and then I just do that all the way around and if I've made a knot I just simply go around that knot as I'm going around so um, I think that it helps with the look and like I said you just want to make sure you're knocking off as much of the alcohol as possible, but of course you need it wet enough where it's gonna move it some. So. And like I said, you don't have to worry about, oh, I messed this up, I messed this up, because again, any with alcohol ink, you can just make changes as you go. So, um, like I said, like sometimes I'll go just 
straight up from whatever knot I made. And that wasn't straight at all. <laughs> that was kind of crooked. Um, but or sometimes I'll take it and I'll go. Let me. I'll go down and around. So like sometimes I'll go down and then I'll follow my knot around. And then I'll just keep going like that. So that's up to you. You have to do both ways and kind of see what you like. Um, but I think the key is really just going around that whole tumbler. Like some people just do that first step that we did and just cover the whole thing. And they call that that their, that their wood grain. And, you know, more power to them. If, you know, that's the look that they're going for then who's to say that, you know, they're right or wrong. So, um, but like I said, I like to do it this way and then come back and give it that extra definition by doing these little lines like this. Um, and like I said, I got a hundred and, and the amount of compliments that I get on this, this wood grain is like crazy to me. So, um, it's obviously something that somebody likes. I really like this denim. I don't know about y'all, but this, this cup is, is, what they say, giving me life. So, um, that is, like, that's it. And then all I would do now, um, I get this question a lot. People ask, should I, um, wait and let this dry, um, before I put epoxy on it, or can I just put epoxy on it now? Because some people seem to have issues with the um, alcohol ink moving. Um, I haven't had that issue, and I think just to kind of show people in case I want to reuse parts of this live, I may go ahead and put some epoxy on it so you guys can see that. Is every Does everybody want to see what that process is like or... Was this good? Yes, right? The color is beautiful, Renee. I love this color. Was what who, who was it Stacy or Renee? Who who chose this color? Because this thing is beautiful. I'm gonna have to do some more like this. <laughs> so um, but I just want you to like get a close-up. And I think especially since this is called denim, to have the coloration that it has, I just I just love it. So, but like, if you saw this and was like, um, if you saw this and like I said, you were like, oh my God, that is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. You could always take your brush, you know, and I'm going to try not to get this too wet. You could always take your brush and then redo it. Like you can always say, nope, I didn't like the way that looked. Let me just like, you could erase your knots. If your knots isn't what you want, you can erase them and then, you know, do your knots over. So, um, uh, and I don't like what I just did cause it made it, what were the colors again? All right, I'll show you the colors here in a second. Um, so we use range, we're using Rangers brand um and ranger has a denim so they have a denim and then i mixed a little bit of sailboat blue in so a denim and a sailboat blue is what we did but loving the colors and like i said just an easy 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 process um at least i found it to be i shouldn't say that because some stuff you know it seems to be a, a straightforward maybe that's a better way to say that a straightforward process as far as you know you just brush it on and you know you do what you do you know and you're making it you're making it to whatever you want it to be so um I've seen people do this with peekaboo where they've spray painted it like we're doing the globe where they've spray painted it, um, put some words on it and then come back and spray paint, took the word, you know, took the words off, spray painted. Well, put the words on like I'm going to do this. I hope this is going to make sense. 
So they put their labels on, they spray paint it, then they take their labels off where the whatever the bottom cover is showing, and then they go and do the wood grain, which I've seen that and that's like super cute too. So um, you can do it either way or you can just leave it like this. So um, that is that. Like I said, I really like that blue. That blue is, that blue is, is I want to say that blue is banging. <laughs> Was another good word. I need a word. So anyways, um, that is the tumbler. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and hopefully put it on a, on a um, turner here in a second. But the other thing that you just want to make sure that you do so, as you can see from the beginning of when I started this process, like my brushes was dirty. So you want to make sure that you clean your brushes. The way you clean your brushes, your hands, all that stuff is with alcohol. So the alcohol that you're using to put on it, which is why it moves it around, is the same alcohol you're going to use to clean your brushes. And to clean your brushes, ah, y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> y'all went boing. To clean your brushes, um, you're just really dipping your brush in that alcohol over and over again, and then using your paper towel to wipe off your brush. So you can do it until it's clean. I normally don't have that kind of patience. That's why my brush is still be dirty the next time. So, you know, but you want to just, you just want to do this and get, get all of the blue out of your brush. So, um, but normally I get here and I'll be like, yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> and then the next time I'm like, dang, I should have cleaned my brush better. So, um, like that, like that had some kind of, I, I must have used this for my red one because there is red in there. So, but that's how you clean your brushes. So that should be pretty simple. Um, and like I said, the only other thing now is to actually epoxy this. And like I said, when I get questions, I do want to sit these in this alcohol though, y'all. I don't want to like not clean them at all. Um, when I get questions, most of my questions um, have to do with the epoxying of it so i have my quick coat epoxy over here in the wings and my little um spin it uh turner so i'm hoping um we can do this right here. i just need to see something because this turner yeah i think we'll be good so I think at some point I, oh no, it's moving. So the spinet turner, if you didn't know, like allows you to do different size turners, which is the one reason that I bought the turner. It, I mean, it allows you to do different size turners. It allows you to do different size cups. So as you can see, I can spin this back piece right here and it allows this to move. So as you can see, if I spin it upwards, it makes that wider. And then if I spin it back, then it gives me the opportunity to have a thinner cup. So um, I have one of these and then I built a whole bunch of spinners myself. I just bought the, um, what is it? Not the engine. I don't know. I can't think. But I just bought the pieces to make it rotate and then put it together myself because we can do that kind of stuff. We don't, again, I've, I've been saying this my last few videos, like we don't have to wait for other people to do stuff. Like that was literally taking two wires and putting them in a thing, a, a motor, there it is. Two wires from the motor, putting it into a little switch. Um, and then that switch was connected to the on off. You can do that. So um, like I said, so we're gonna put this on here. Now that I've gotten, maybe we're going to put it on there. There we go. All right. So I'm going to keep the paper under. I like to put another paper underneath the cup because I don't want my spinner to have epoxy on it more than it already does.
So you do want to make sure that your paper or whatever you put underneath is flat so it doesn't, like that scares me. Like I think it's going to hit my cup. So when I see that stuff, I say, uh, nope. And <laughs> I got grab a piece of paper from my copier and I know that that's not going to hit my cup. So I will do that instead. Um, I am using the Quick Coat Epoxy. Can you do other items besides cups and glasses? I am new. Um, besides cups and glasses. Like, what are you thinking about? Like, I've done, I've done glass. I haven't done anything else because most other things can come in wood grain, if that makes sense. And I'm like, I'm like, why would I paint wood grain on here when it's already wood grain? So tell me what you're thinking about. But I think anything that you can spray paint, let me just say it that way. Anything that you can spray paint, you can probably put a wood grain on. Because really, you're making that wood grain pattern over top of the white spray paint. So I think you can do it in anything that, like I said, you can spray paint a flat surface on. But I have done it. Let me just show y'all. I showed y'all the two tumblers, but that's regular tumblers. I think I have a couple of other things here. Bear with me, bear with me. I'm still here. So, like, I have done it. I heard you, I mean, you said glass, but I have done it with glass. So, like, this is a glass tumbler. Like, I took a, a beer glass drinking set. I'm not a drinker, but I took one just so I could see if I could do it on glass. And as you can see, it worked just fine. And this is a glass beer stein. And, you know, and I really like this one because I felt like it really had that baseball bat feel. So um, you can do it on different surfaces. Um, and there was another question. So let me see if I can get to it. Do, 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 do. I don't know why the things won't stay up. Yay, beautiful. After applying the inks, do you use epoxy right away? So like I said, that is a question that I get often on can you do that? Because some people do it and they seem to have a problem with it. I have never vases. I would say vases is just like, okay, I, I'm jumping from one question to another. Um, I would say that, um, I don't even know what I was answering first, the vase. Well, let's just go back to the vases. The vases to me is just like those, that beer glass. It's just a bigger version of it. Spray paint it white, let it dry. And then you should be able to paint on it just like I did with this. Um, as far as the epoxy, that was the other question. Um, the epoxy, yes. Um, uh, some people say they have a problem with putting the epoxy on, which is why I'm going to do it right now. So you guys can see it. Um, I haven't had a problem and it, you know, maybe this will be my first time because normally when I say something on live, it always proves me wrong, but I haven't had a problem with the epoxy moving. I mean the alcohol ink moving on me. So we're going to do it now so that you guys can see that I didn't wait a day. Sometimes I do wait a day just because of the busyness of my schedule. Like I'll paint a whole bunch of them and then I'll let them sit and then I'll slowly get to putting them on my turners. But um, it's not something that I have to do. It's something that I just do out of necessity. So we're going to go ahead and mix up some epoxy. Like I said, I use either the Amazing Clear Cast, their dark blue box, or I have found this, which I absolutely love. Um, because again, if you've heard me talk about this, um, this is their four to five hours tack free. So in four to five hours, I can come to this tumbler and I can touch it. So I like that I can do that. So, um, we're going to just go ahead and quickly mix up probably maybe 10, 15 milliliters. That's probably more than enough. Um, of each side because it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So I'm gonna put on my gloves and let me just go over the safety precautions. When you're doing epoxy, you really should not have your arms out necessarily. 
you should have on a ventilator thing and you should have on gloves. You are not going to see that here. Do as I say and not as I do. <laughs> That's all I can say to you because you need, you need to protect yourself. And some people with epoxy, they can't handle it. And I don't want to be the reason that you fall ill. So, so far I haven't had an issue, but you know, I've also heard of people not having an issue and then all of a sudden they do have an issue. So you just want to be careful with, um, you just want to take care of yourself and do the right thing. So I am actually, going to do seven and a half I think of each I don't think I need more than that so I'm gonna do seven and a half of the a and then seven and a half of the B um very pretty very interesting gosh very interesting from what I understand you have to spray with clear yeah I've done that both ways and I haven't sprayed it with clear either. So like I said, you can watch my process and you can judge for yourself. Um, but I haven't had the issues that I have heard about. But I have like when I first started doing it because I heard you should spray it with clear. I did spray it with clear. And I haven't seen a difference in spraying it with clear and not. Um, so like you can take that for what it is. Uh... So we're going to do seven and a half of this. Hi, honey. My son just got home. I love it when they get home. <laughs> I am such a mama mama. Oh, uh, okay. All right. So like I said, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. I like to use, this is my favorite one. It costs like $5 more than the regular Aluma, um, amazing Aluma cast. Um, but I like this one because again, it's tack free in four to five hours. So I'd rather have my time and you know, it'd be dry so I can move on to whatever my next step is. So again, you just take the two parts and you're going to put them together and then, um, Another thing uh, I hear a lot about is bubbles and all of that kind of stuff. And, you know, you need to kind of take your time with stirring and all of that. Y'all know, like, y'all talk hear me talk about patience. That's the one thing I don't ask for. Because <laughs> like, I know it's going to be bad for me. Um, so, I'm just going to stir this until, you know, it's not. So, gosh, I wish, wish I would have showed you, but because I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But right now it is cloudy and um, we have to basically stir it until it's clear. So kind of like um, what we did with the glue, what we did with the glue and um, water mixture on these ones. Like when you when we started doing these, they were cloudy and then um as we continued oh i can seal this i should have made enough to do that i might do that still um as as we stirred it became clear and that's kind of what you're doing here and you don't want to stir fast which i always do again my patience not on my end tina uh-oh somebody having issues with hearing me or seeing me uh-oh Make sure my, I don't want to get epoxy on my phone. I get epoxy everywhere. You are going in and out. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, like I said, I'm the only one home and the only one on my internet. So I should not have an issue, but I'm sorry if an issue is happening. So you want to stir for just a couple of minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this turner on. And then, like I said, you guys can see for yourself. Everybody can see that? Let me make sure y'all can see. I'm knocking all kinds of stuff over, y'all. 
So, and you want to make sure you get a good mix and you, so that means that like you'll see me stop and like scrape the sides because you want to make sure you get that good mix. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but we're going to try. I don't, normally I make too much. Are y'all some of those people like I make too much now? And when I make too much, even though now I want to use it for the bottom of my tumbler, I make these. So then when I sell a tumbler or whatever, I send them a little keychain that with all of my extra epoxy. Like, isn't that cute? So here I am talking instead of doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So here we go. Let's make sure. Like I said, you don't want to do it this fast. So like doing it this fast, um, you really need to use your heat gun to get some of the bubbles out. So, you know, and I, if I feel like I need to do that, I will. But again, <laughs> as you, if you haven't been able to tell, I'm a little bit of a rebel, I guess. I just saw a spot that I didn't like. I must have scratched it. So I want to get that before I put this on here. All right, so here we go, y'all, so y'all can see it. Oh, I don't like that. I got to fix that, y'all. I can't mess it. It's like a brown spot now because I used that brown, the wrong brush. Okay. I'm going to give that a turn or two to dry. And then we're going to go ahead and put this on. And then, like I said, you guys can see for yourself on whether you feel like it moves or not. Um, let me just let it come around and see if that's dry. And eh, we're going to go for it. And here I am being a bad example. Um, stirring that too fast. All right, so normally I just do like this. When I'm putting mine on. And then I'll start rubbing it down and over the bottom of the cup. So I'll just do like this. And like that first to me, like your first, the first all the way around to me is not, it's not as smooth. Like it's a little rough going, but then it's like once you put that base in place, then everything gets better. So, um, and then I'll come back to spots that I feel like need a little bit more and give it a little bit more. So, like I said, and, and as you can see, I didn't seal it. I didn't seal it and I did not wait 24 hours. I didn't wait an hour, did I? <laughs> and I, I, will sh I will hold this up so you guys can see for yourself closely that this design, my knots, all of that is not moving. Like it is staying exactly where I put it. So, like I said, we hear a lot of things, but sometimes you just got to see and try stuff for yourself and see what works for you. And right now, like I said, since I've been doing this, I have found that I don't have to seal it. I don't have to um, wait. Because when the alcohol ink dries, super fast so you don't necessarily have to wait because it's dry in minutes you don't have to wait for I, I don't know what you will be waiting for because it's dry so 
And as you see, I'm rubbing and I'm rubbing. It's not like I'm like taking it easy. Like my, I guess my Tom, my tomboyish comes out. Cause I do not take take this stuff easy. Take it easy. Mm. And that's probably too much. But I'm just giving it a nice good coat. Sometimes when I give it a nice good coat, I don't even have to put a second coat on it. Um, sometimes I do, depending on how it decides it's gonna move and level itself out. Because um, epoxy, if you didn't know, is supposed to be self-leveling. But like you can see my tumbler, it's not all the way straight. It's like doing a little zigzag thing. So I'm getting ready to pick this up and show it to you guys. There we are. This side right here. It needs a little help. So, um, like I said, I'm just gonna let this do its thing. Probably for now for the night, just because of what time it is. But if it wasn't. I will wait the four or five hours, see how it's going, you know, whether I feel like I'm going to need to do another coat or not. Um, I'm going to take this off just so I can pick it up for you guys. Because I really want you to see. Like, that's it. And like I said, exactly what we brushed on there is exactly what we're getting. And we did not wait, as I said before, a whole lot of time. So, you know, contrary to the things that you may have heard, you know, this is, this is what happens when I do it. Tina, do you know um, that, do you know that spin it have a attachment let me see i need to be um is that a tumbler yes it is a tumbler wow just learned something new thank you you are so welcome um does spin it have a new attachment so like i said i only have one spin it and i actually do have an attachment that i bought a year and a half, two years ago that I've never used because I haven't had a reason to. And then I built one, two, three, four, five, six. I built eight, eight turners myself. So, and I still have motors over there. Like I can build some more. So I don't I had this one honestly just so like I can do stuff like this and show you guys and it's not my wooden wooden turners um but I don't I don't know if they have all that to say is I don't know if they have another does anybody else know that um whether or not does anybody know whether or not um they have a new spin. It has a new um, spinner. Now this, I got mines from Michaels. I don't know if anybody else has one of these, but I got mines from Michaels. I want to say it was less than 50, maybe 40 something dollars. So, and then, like I said, I bought the attachment because I thought I would use it and then I didn't, but I did. Etsy had um, these and I'll have to find the link for you guys. Let me show you. Etsy had these. Like if you build your own, Etsy has these. I'm trying to find all the pieces for y'all. So I bought my motors. So you build the base. I bought my motors from Amazon. So there's the motor and the um, plug. So there's a switch, which I don't think I have any of right now, but there's a switch that you put these two in and you put these two in 
and then you can make your own spinner. So you just have to get the um, PVC pipe. So like I said, I think you can do it. And then Etsy, like if you got the PVC pipe, you can put the different sizes on the end of the PVC pipe. So love these things. I, actually, I think I got this from, even though I do not have one, I do know that they do have another attachment. Mm -hmm. So there you go. There's your answer. Um, I think I did get some of these from Amazon. If you're thinking about building your own. So, like I said, I'm pulling all this stuff out. So anybody have any questions? My son made a fifth attachment PVC for me. Yes. The, I love the PVC. Um, it took me honestly a while to figure it out and then to not be so sloppy with my epoxy that I didn't get it. Like the ones that you screw off that I didn't get it stuck together. <laughs> Again, I'm working, I'm not working on patience. I ain't a lot of y'all, I'm not. So, and that, I don't want to right now. <laughs> um, but, so here we are, like I said, um, I'm sorry we didn't get to the um, storyboard tumbler, but when I pop in and off, off and on here, and then maybe next Wednesday, I'll have it actually complete. Um, I will show you guys Ooh, I don't think that's going to be enough. I'll show you guys the finish of the storyboard. So, um, and then I have two more here. So maybe I can have some in some different stages um, so that I can show you uh, what, it, what it turned out and then maybe go through the process a little bit with you guys. I think next week, though, we are supposed to do... Um, next week we're supposed to do acrylic signs and I just got some acrylic from a friend of mine. So we're supposed to do acrylic signs next week using our Cricut. So y'all tell me if that's something y'all want to do or do you want to do another tumbler? so I can, I can do whatever. Um... And as y'all can see, I'm finally sealing this one so I can use it. I'm excited about that as well. But that is pretty much it. Like I said, as I said to you guys all the time, um, watch for my lives. I'm doing these every Wednesday where we're doing something together. And then every Sunday, 3 o'clock, I do an Amazon Live. My whole schedule... Um, is on procrastcreation.com. So whoever asked for my email address, that's another way. If you go to procrastcreation.com and fill out the comment or the email me that way, you can email me that way too. Um, and so like I said, Sunday, Sunday I am doing signs. So we are doing, ooh, can I show y'all something? We are doing wooden signs. Sunday. So just the round um, 15 inch signs is what we're doing Sunday. Um, but I want to show y'all what I'm, I'm excited about this y'all. So we're going to let that spin. That'll spin for us four or five hours, but I got to show y'all. I got to show y'all this. So one Sunday, we're going to be doing St. Patrick's Day signs. I may do a couple of tags. I don't know. I got to see what kind of time I have. And then we're going to do around either that St. Patrick's Day or something for the spring. So um, I'll figure that out before Sunday. <laughs> but look, so I saw this on Pinterest and I'm excited about it, y'all, because I think and then we may do some of these in the future. So I saw this on Pinterest where... Somebody made a sign that flipped. So, look, there's a little groove there that, like, I can just make these signs. You can, like, you can have Merry Christmas, and on the back it could be, you know, I don't know, Happy New Year, I don't know. <laughs> and then you can, you can swap it out for a different sign. Like, you can just buy this piece with just the sign in, and replace it in your sign, in your frame. So 
So I was really excited. So we made the first one, um, just in case anybody's watching that knows Major Born. Major Born is, I work at a school, so Major Born is our shop teacher. And every time I figure out something that I want to learn how to do, he helps me figure it out. So I brought in my little materials and then we, um, we cut this all up. So I'm excited. So I'm going to make some of different sizes, paint them. I'm going to use like this. I just use this kind of board. So, you know, I can't really flip this because one side is rough. I'm going to try it anyway. But one side is rough and one side is smooth. So I think the next time I do this, I'm going to do it with plywood. But I was excited. Like, you can take it out. You can take it out. <laughs> So anyways, I was excited about that. Um, so like I said, if you wanted to have like something for Halloween and then you go into something for whatever the seasons are. So I'm, I'm just excited about it. So um, I wanted to share that with you because I got that done today and I just brought it home. And um, right, it's so cool. So anyways, that is it for me. Let me make sure I check the comments, make sure I didn't miss any questions or anything. And then they're $19.99. Oh, well, I'll probably need to go get another one, don't I? Um, let's see. Um, great job. I'm going to try it. Yay. Good. I'm glad. Um, I... Truly, 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 I say this a lot, and I just want you guys to hear it and know, like, I mean it. Like, I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, are you going to put glitter? I don't know. I'm probably not. I don't, I don't normally put glitter on my wood grains. I see them. No. <laughs> I'm probably not. Not that it couldn't. You know, and if I could figure out a way to do glitter enough to, like, make my knot look like it's geode, that would be, like, really pretty, right? Now you got me thinking I might have to experiment when I get off of this. <laughs> so, um, I, I'm really, I, I'm thinking I'm, I gotta go look at my glitter stash and see if I have all the colors I need. I might try it. I'm just scared it's gonna move. You know what I mean? Like, is it spinning? Do you think the glitter is going to move out of the spots? Like, I think if I wanted to glitter it, I needed to glitter it before. Like, if I wanted to do geode, I probably should have geode it before I put the epoxy on. Like, you know, use like a Mod Podge or something. Because if I do it now, as it's spinning, that glitter is going to move. Right? So I don't think I can do it now. I don't think I can do it now unless I just glittered the cup or just had like the top or the middle. Like I'm sure I can put like a streak of glitter in there. Might want to use Mod Podge. So yeah, so, and I, I don't think I can mix the Mod Podge with the um, epoxy. So that'll have to be something. Like I'm sure, like I said, I can make a little, like I probably can do a streak where there's not a knot, um, but I don't think that I can, I don't think I can do anything beyond that. Right, you'll have to do it before the epoxy. So that may have to be something we try on another one. So, um, but like I said, I'm gonna let this thing do its thing. I'm gonna let you guys, you know, you know do whatever your nightly rituals are. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Try to stay up myself a little while longer so that I'm not up at 2 or 3 in the morning. I need to get a, a, a full night's nice rest. So, anyways, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you Sunday at 3 or at least on one of the recaps. Because, you know, I always come here to recap after I finish my Amazon Live. Or I will see you next Wednesday. So Sunday we're doing signs, Wednesday we are doing acrylic signs. He said, don't mess up that beautiful color. <laughs>
I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to, uh, actually, I'm going to put the labels on here and go spray paint it while I still got a pretty warm part of a day. Even though it might be cold now. I'm going to try to spray paint this tonight. So that's what I'm going to do before I go to bed. And I'm going to leave that one alone. I'll make sure you see it the next time so you know that I did not ruin this tumbler. So, um, all right, guys. I appreciate you. Good night. Good night, Joanne. Good night, Renee. Good night, Stacy. I don't know whoever else is left on here, but good night to you. I Again, I appreciate you all, and I will see you all next week.